it attaches to the earlier model. Once again, the probe homes in on where Paris used to be. Scientists predict it will find a warm, shallow ocean. For in a hundred million years, Earth will become a water world. The water is as warm as a bath no deeper than 50 feet in most places. Water covers over 75% of the Earth's surface. Today, a violent storm is brewing in this future ocean. Such warm seas will whip up storms that surpass any the Earth has seen before. 200 mile per hour winds and 75 foot waves will churn the massive ocean. When the storm clears, what appears to be the remains of an animal floats on the surface. But the creature, although ripped to shreds by the storm, isn't dead after all. Day by day, it regenerates, growing into a massive, living sailboat. Within a week, it's fully reborn. The largest floating animal in the world. This is the Ocean Phantom. The Ocean Phantom is 30 feet long. Its stinging tentacles can stretch nine feet downward. It's actually thousands of separate creatures living together as one colony. It's a jellyfish. 100 million years in the future, this poisonous predator is on the prowl. It needs a source of protein once a week. And it's not picky about what it eats. Just about any creature that crosses its path could be dinner. The ocean phantom is a relative of the Portuguese man of war. In the 21st century, the man of war is a colony of highly specialized individuals working together. But the man of war is only 12 inches long and six inches high. 100 million years in the future, the ocean phantom is a jellyfish colony taken to the extreme. Specialized members form sails to harness the wind. Others fill with carbon dioxide to keep the giant animal afloat. Still others hang below the surface, scouring the seabed for food by dangling their poisonous tentacles. The ocean phantom set sail for its hunting grounds, a nearby reef. Fragile coral reefs died out millions of years ago. This future reef is made of red algae. The ocean phantom searches the reef. Attached to its tentacles are dangerous traps called hunting bells, which are ringed with eyes. The ocean phantom spots a potential victim, a small juvenile reef glider. The reef glider is a descendant of the sea slug. Today, sea slugs are mollusks without shells. Most are brightly colored, less than an inch long, and crawl on the ocean floor. 100 million years in the future, the sea slug is sluggish no more. It will grow hundreds of times larger, learn to swim, 
and become the reef glider. The ocean phantom moves in for the kill. Its thousands of separate organisms, sails, rudders, and hunting bells working in concert. The hunting bells hover above. At just the right moment, the trap springs shut. And the ocean phantom devours the young reef glider. But the giant jellyfish is not without its own enemies. One is the adult reef glider. The juveniles may be easy prey, but the adults, eight feet long and weighing more than a thousand pounds, are a force to reckon with. The ocean phantom, slow moving and at the mercy of the wind, looks like it hasn't got a chance. The reef glider closes in. Its horny beak goes straight for a hunting bell. The phantom fights back with stinging tentacles. But the reef glider is immune to its poison. The monster jellyfish has one last trick up its sleeve. Its own private army of sea spiders. Twelve inches long, they slither down the tentacles and sink their poisonous fangs into the reef glider. The spiders enjoy food and shelter from the ocean phantom. In return, they valiantly defend their host. Burning in pain, the reef glider slinks off. Soon, another raging storm rolls in across the shallow sea. Once again, the ocean phantom is tossed in the massive swells. Its sails tear apart. Its floats are ripped open. As the storm subsides, the fragments of the ocean phantom drift apart. But these violent episodes are not just destructive. Each piece of the ocean phantom will regenerate, ensuring new generations of giant jellyfish. One hundred million years in the future, the cycle of life in the warm, shallow seas continues. One hundred million years in the future.